Hello, I am Professor Preeti Nair, Faculty of Parul Institute and the Coordinator of the Indian Summer School 2015. We have with us today Professor Dr. Margareta from Faculty of Business and Health Studies, University of Applied Sciences, Bielefeld, Germany. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I am fine, thank you. This is your first visit to India and yes. to Baroda. This is my very first uh, visit to India at all and of course to Vadodara also, yes. So how do you feel about it? What are your impressions about India? Yeah, um, well I, it's just you know so far a um, relatively short period of time, around one week. Mm -hmm. um, but it was everything so intense and you know so full of impressions, discussions, uh, remarks, uh, thoughts, feelings and so on that I feel that um, it was not only one week, it was much more. And uh, the first thing that I could uh, say about it is that I'm, I'm feeling myself overwhelmed of all these impressions mm -hmm. um, in a very positive way. That's good. Um, I uh, can tell you that I, I didn't want to build myself any expectations, mm -hmm. but if I would have done this, they would have been exceeded. Okay. Um, I felt myself wonderful these days. Um, uh, you know, everything is full of, uh, um, yeah, of, of new, so, so to say, in all respects, uh, uh, new nice surprises. Everything is very intense, and uh, I'm sure that when I, when I will get back home and when I will, you know, um, consider everything, all experiences and all uh, situations, discussions, and so on, I will have uh, a lot to think about. Uh, did you try out Indian cuisines? Indian food? Only. Only. <laughs> only. <laughs> yes, only Indian cuisine. So we've already seen Pizza Hut and so on, but of course I didn't went there, so I have tried only Indian cuisines. Different and types, different I've been told. Yes, from the south part of India, Gujarati typical cuisine from the north part of the country. I enjoyed everything, you know. <laughs> it was that sometimes I, you know, tried to pay a little bit more attention because it's completely different, different. Um, in comparison to what we have in, in Europe. Um, but it was very tasty. Sometimes, of course, too spicy for me, uh, but very tasty. tasty. Yes. And any cuisine, particularly any food item you liked very much? Okay. Um, it's quite difficult for me to tell you Pronounce. precisely a, 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 yes, a, a special type of cuisine because it's difficult for me to remember their names, names you know, and to understand their names. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I can tell you that I've enjoyed a lot. There are, you know, like small balls. I thought that they would be in honey, but that it was sugar, sugar syrup. syrup. And I understood that this is from South yeah. India. No, no, no. North of India. They are gulab jamuns. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I like them. I have uh, eaten this a couple of times mm -hmm. and I uh, always enjoy them a lot. Good. That's nice. Um, uh, did you get a chance to interact with the students of Parul Institute? Yes. And how was your experience with them? Well, I had a couple of guest lectures so far. I believe there were three. Three. Together. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, this is, was again uh, um, um, an issue that I, I didn't want to, to, to build myself to, to set any expectations. And uh, I thought that it might be that, you know, classes are different mm -hmm. uh, from Germany. And they were, of course. Um, students have perhaps you know different backgrounds, different uh, body of knowledge uh, that they were interacting with. Uh, <coughs> but um, altogether, I have tried to interact with them as much as I do with uh, my students in Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, this was um, I would say successful. So perhaps you know in Germany I might be addressed more questions than here. Uh, perhaps they definitely um, my German students are talking louder louder mm -hmm. but um, altogether uh, it was a very nice interaction and uh, I enjoyed you know teaching them teaching. and uh, spending this uh, academic time together and I hope that they enjoyed them yes this too they must have definitely enjoyed your because it's always uh, learning new things interacting with new people so whenever you interact with a professor who is an international professor especially, you get to know different uh, methodology of teaching, 
the body set of knowledge as you mentioned earlier so that's fine ma'am i also try to know to adapt my lecture to their needs and also to their expectations okay to that information that they already got so far uh, because i don't know exactly what so the contained of their lecture so mm -hmm. far and uh, but it was okay it was so <laughs> as far as they told me they could follow yes yeah. um, you also had a chance of interacting with the directors and the professors of different management institutions so how was your experience with them uh, the interaction you had with the different professors mm -hmm. um well it was that you know most of the times the um the the, the, the topics that we had talked about were um rather mm -hmm. research oriented and not teaching oriented um besides you know classical questions of mm -hmm. what is your field of, of uh, teaching mm -hmm. uh, you know first impression is that um uh, indian professors are uh, very dynamic i would say in uh, respect to what they are doing and how quickly they are doing and also how much they are doing you know um they are also actively participating in conferences and they are um Uh, publishing research papers they have also quite a lot of um, of teaching hours um but um from a technical point of view i had the opportunity to discuss a uh, bit more with <coughs> professor morty mm -hmm. and uh, in this dis discussion we also approached um more technical subjects and i think that um the research interests are you know usually um come on to the research uh, different research groups and uh, um it was a so to conclude so to say it was a very good interaction thanks and uh, we also had an interaction with experts from different industries um we talked on many areas and uh, do you think that um bringing industries or industry academia interface uh can help in cooperation between different universities so you mean if this um would be a po i mean a positive impact on the cooperation on the cooperation between yes, different yes. universities well i believe this um um uh, the first thing that you one should take into consideration is uh, what is the scope of this partnership mm -hmm. is it rather a from a theoretical point of view or a practical oriented or Uh, you know business oriented mm -hmm. one because of course you have if you have um several research projects so to say with the or within or in collaboration with different mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. around the world let's say a german indian cooperation with a german based company then of course um it would be an advantage to bring also mm -hmm. industry representatives into this partnership and also the other way around indian companies of course mm -hmm. but this as i say you have to relate this exactly to um the scope of the scope partnership of the and also the objectives of different projects academic or research projects yes mm -hmm. nice and what are your impressions about parul institute as a whole yeah it's something very big <laughs> an unexpected bit i would say i i thought you know that the main interest would be in in a medical field but i realized that is not like this you are very broadly oriented and i think that from a strategic point of view it's also very well because uh you know i'm an economist and i always try to think in economic uh, 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 terms if one field let's say wouldn't work that well then of course you could compensate with uh eventually a potential successes from mm -hmm. other fields so i think that it's a very good um strategy that you are so broadly oriented and uh i have understood that it's also a very young group of mm -hmm. institutes that there are institutes um that have been founded just a couple of years, years. ago and uh for this relatively short period of time to have uh, so many students um that are actively involved here i believe i think it's a uh, quite a great success i don't know exactly you know indian um how i mean whether this is something typical you know for the indian economy for the indian academic uh, um, uh, field but um if i'm taking just this example i think that you're doing a very good job thank you so much 
Um, Ma'am, uh, <coughs> uh, what do you think that the Indian Summer School 2015 or the Indian Summer Schools which we organize, uh, you know, wherein we have the professors and the students visiting the different universities and exchanging their culture, the academics and their share of knowledge. Do you think that such partnerships or such cooperations in such a manner, organizing Indian Summer Schools, does it help to, you know, build up this partnership? Or build up these corporations? Definitely. So I believe that through these summer schools, Indian students get a better perspective about uh, German um, academic environment and also the other way around. So mm -hmm. German students have the possibility to see exactly, you know, how it is in the real world here, being in India and, and studying here, of course. And I think this that this also stimulates relationship between the students because otherwise, um, I think that, uh, you know, students wouldn't come to communicate mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. without having, you know, a common context mm -hmm. that uh, where they have to interact together, you know, mm -hmm. so having these projects where they have to work together, work together. be in Germany or being in India, um, I think it's uh, something very good from which both parts can, uh, can uh, profit from. And um, yes, of course, it would, this would further stimulate and uh, develop the, um, the cooperation and relationship between universities, yes. So you feel this program is a success, uh, Summer School 2015? <laughs> um, well, it is usually, you know, you have to have something else that you could compare with, you know. As okay. for me, this is the first, first time, time I'm taking part at all in this German-Indian uh, uh, context and partnership. I am. Uh, member of, uh, of the Department of Business and, Econ and, and Health Studies uh, since last year in, in autumn, so I don't have too much information, you know, or, or background information of uh, what has been before and also with what success. Mm -hmm. uh, but my impression, my opinion about what I've seen so far is that um, this is a very good idea and is uh, um, I've heard a lot of positive feedback from the German side, so from, from some students, students. and uh, I believe that it will be, it's just, you know, the beginning, less than one week, they will have to stay here four and a half Long weeks time. altogether, but I, I believe that it will go further in the same direction. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much Thank for you your valuable feedback and your valuable time. Um, on behalf of Padu Group of Institutes, I would like to present a small memento to you. Thank and you. And we hope that next.